Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be super casual. I'm actually going to deep condition for you guys on camera, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something that I learned that you must do if you have low porosity hair. If you wanna make sure that you retain a ton of moisture and have the most effective deep conditioning days, make sure that you keep on watching this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the alerts so you know when I post my next video, and go ahead and follow me on my social platforms and keep on watching. All right guys, so my hair is freshly washed and we're gonna deep condition together. The deep conditioner that I'm gonna be using in this video, it's actually kind of funny because in my previous video, I was talking about how I've been looking for this deep conditioner and how I love this deep conditioner so much and I thought I ran out, but I just found a little bit left and I think it's enough to last me for this deep conditioning sesh, so we are going to use that because I bragged so much about it in my last video, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. All right, so here it is. It's the Mish Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. Guys, I love this deep conditioner. I know I say I love a lot, but this deep conditioner is amazing, amazing. And I'm really upset that I wasn't able to put this in my faves for my deep conditioning faves. But this is definitely something that I remember I tried it for the first time and I was shook. I was like, damn, I've never had a deep conditioner work like this in my hair. I love this deep conditioner. It's amazing. And I'm so glad that there's some left so I can demo this with you guys. You guys can see how it's going to make my hair, so I will show you guys. I like to deep condition with damp hair. I don't like when my hair is sopping wet and wetting all my clothes and getting all over the place. So I went ahead and washed my hair, detangled, and I put it up in a t-shirt. And it pretty much soaked up majority of the water in it. But it is damp, and it's still pretty wet, but it's not dripping wet. So, alright, so let's get started. First, I like to part my hair. I don't know if I have a video on how I deep condition my hair. But I have to part my hair in order to get the deep conditioner everywhere. You guys know my hair is super duper thick. And to ensure that each strand gets coated in deep conditioner, I have to part my hair. So my hair is detangled, thank God. And I'm gonna grab some of this niche. I don't know if I have enough, I think so. But we shall see. I'm gonna grab this much. apply it to both sides all right guys so I have the lowest of the lows when it comes to low porosity hair it repels water like no other I have such low porosity hair and you know what's funny guys I always used to do this and I stopped doing it because because I got lazy and it is an extra step in your routine and I don't always have time for this extra step so that's why I stopped doing this. You're probably wondering what that thing that I keep talking about is. By the way, I am using my Curl Keeper brush. I'm using the Flexi brush to brush my hair through with the deep conditioner. I always brush the product through my hair. Just about everything I brush it through my hair. So just brush it through. Hair feels a little dry, so I'm gonna keep adding a little more. But you guys are probably wondering what that is. And a lot of you guys probably already do this, and I feel really, I'm mad that I took this long to actually incorporate it legit into my routine because I know better. But what I'm referring to is adding heat to your deep conditioner. So since now we're all quarantined here and we have a little bit more time on our hands, I've been doing a little bit more self-care than usual. Nothing new, I'm very big on self-care. And I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna add an Olaplex treatment, I'm gonna add a deep conditioner. This was about a few weeks ago. And when I deep conditioned, I was like, let me just add some heat. I haven't done this in so long. Guys, I, saw, I sat under the hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. And let me tell you, that wash and go was complete.
step by step, but that's pretty much what I do. I just apply product, brush it through, apply product. Look at this definition with this deep conditioner. It's crazy. My hair feels so soft. I really wish I had more of this. I'm actually gonna order some when I go upstairs because I need that product. I love that deep conditioner so much. I don't think I'm gonna have enough, so I'm definitely gonna have to grab another one and mix it with another product, which that's not a bad thing. You can always mix two deep conditioners together. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, yeah, almost at the bottom. This sucks. I really wish I had another one. So I'm gonna finish deep conditioning and then I'm gonna show you guys four different ways you can add heat to your deep conditioning. I actually haven't styled my hair and talked to you guys at the same time, so if you haven't noticed, I'm a little off. <laughs> But I will get used to this because I want to do some get ready with me's and like style my hair with you guys on camera. But I'm trying to focus, like look at you guys as well as make sure that I actually even distribute the product well enough. I'll get used to it. But yeah, so just I'm going to speed this up so I can show you guys how to add heat to your deep conditioning treatments. I ended up mixing whatever was left of the Miche Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I combined these two. They mixed really well in my hair, so I'm going to sit under the hooded dryer for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then I will show you guys three other options that you guys can do at home that you don't need a hooded dryer for. So I'm out of the hooded dryer. I spent about 20 minutes in there. So I did want to show you guys other options that you guys can use. So you can incorporate heat into your deep conditioning routine. So number two, you can use a thermal heat cap. I actually got this, I want to say last year. And I was so obsessed with this thing. It's not that I'm not, but I find that the hooded dryer is a lot quicker for me. But a lot of people forget that they have this because I completely forgot that I had this. But this is so good to have. Throw it in the microwave for a few seconds on each side. You're supposed to flip it side to side and heat it up and just pop it on your head and it should warm up your deep conditioner. This is a good method. So another option would be, I actually got this little cap sent to me by a company. Actually, African Pride. Shout out to African Pride. They sent me this blow dryer attachment. So it looks like this, and it looks a little weird, but it looks like this. So you put this around your head, wrap it around your, actually I'll put it on for you guys so I could demo it fully. Pop this around your head and you tighten it on the side. I've seen these on Amazon because I did have one prior to them sending me this. It looks just like this, super cute, right? And then, you just pop it onto a blow dryer and it just fills up. So actually, you know what? This is not a good one. So you pop it onto a blow dryer. And then from here, you just turn it on and it fills it up just like if you were under a hooded dryer. I actually love this one. I forgot that I had it. And this blow dryer I had to like dig through my closet for because I barely use it anymore. It's what I normally use if I use the hair paint wax because it's covered in colors if you don't see that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is perfect because you do need like a skinny tip blow dryer. I can't attach my Dyson to this. So yeah, this is another option. These are easily found on Amazon. Probably not super pricey either. I think I remember paying like $5.99 for mine. I will put a link in the description of the one that I find. And the last option, all you have to do is just wear a plastic cap use your blow dryer and just simply add heat this way literally just blow heat into your hair don't stick it on your head it just from a distance just apply heat and it serves the same exact purpose as sitting under a hooded dryer 
putting on a heat cap, putting on a thermal heat cap, it all works. So those are four options for you guys. There's no excuse for my low porosity people to not add heat to their next deep conditioner because I'm giving you guys options, okay? So that is all for today's video. I'm gonna unravel my hair so you guys can see. But I am gonna go ahead and wash this out and style. I might film that for you guys as well. I wanna show you guys how moisturized my curls look after being under the heat for just 20 minutes. My curls just look so defined right now. I feel like the product melted into my hair as opposed to when I first wrapped it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, moving forward, I will not skip adding heat to my deep conditioning treatments anymore. Unless, of course, I'm in a rush and I have things to do and I have to get things done. So I forgot to add this one. This is probably the most common way that we deep condition anyways. So I'm giving you guys options. No excuses for my low porosity people out here. You need to add some heat <laughs> to your deep conditioning. So here's another option. You can go ahead and wrap your hair, throw it in a plastic cap like I just had or a shower cap, that works too, and then wrap your hair in a towel. Your body will naturally produce heat through your scalp and that also serves as a method to penetrate the product into your hair. The goal is just for it to just be able to penetrate into the hair cuticle because since our cuticles are so tight, we need to add the extra heat so that that way it can open them up and that way the products can penetrate our hair properly. Alright guys, so that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helped in any way, shape, or form. And if you're that person that's been deep conditioning with heat, and you've been on it, I'm proud of you. I need to be better, I will be better because I can feel, I can not, like I honestly can feel a difference. So moving forward, I will no longer be lazy with my deep conditioning treatments. This whole time I'm thinking I'm not being lazy, like I'm deep conditioning, I'm getting at least one in a week, maybe sometimes two, but then I'm not properly deep conditioning for my hair type. So with that being said, moving forward, I will be using heat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.